If you see two square numbers, one subtracted from the other, this is what we call the difference of two squares, and it can be factorised like this. So here we have two square numbers. This number is a squared, and this number is 4 squared. So we can factorise it, a minus 4, a plus 4. This number here is the square of 2x, because 4 is the square of 2, and x squared is the square of x. This here is the square of y. So we've got 2x minus y and 2x plus y. You must be very careful to only use this factorising technique when you have a difference, in other words, a minus sign. Don't do it if you've got an addition. To simplify this question, the first thing I spot is that this here is the difference of two squares because n squared is the square of n, and 1 is the square of 1. So I can factorise this part. I get n minus 1, n plus 1. That's over n plus 1, and then multiplied by 3 over n minus 3. This fraction here can be simplified to n minus 1. Leave it in its brackets for now. This part stays the same. I now need to multiply these two together. This gives me 3 multiplied by n minus 1 over n minus 3. I can see here a difference of two squares. This is x squared and this is 4 squared. So I've got x minus 4, x plus 4 when I factorise it. This is equal to 0. I now need to solve this equation. Because I've got two things multiplied together, giving me zero, if this bracket is zero, then x must be four. And if this bracket is zero, then x must be minus four. These are my two solutions to my equation. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go, and when you're ready for the answer, press play. Here are the answers. This is the square of 2x, and this is the square of 3, so I can factorise it like this. When I come to do this question, I notice that the bottom is the difference of two squares that I factorised a moment ago, so the bottom of the fraction can be factorised to this. The top of the fraction is not a difference of two squares, so I need to use a basic method of factorisation. I can see that there is a common factor of 2x, and I take this out, leaving me with 2x plus 3. This fraction can then be simplified to 2x over 2x minus 3. Here is another question for you to try. Press pause and have a go, and when you're ready for the answer, press play. To start this question, I need to rearrange my equation so that it's equal to zero, like this. I then spot that it's the difference of two squares, 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5. To solve the equation, one of these brackets has to be equal to zero. So if this one is equal to zero, I get the answer x is minus 5 over 2. And if this bracket is equal to zero, I get the answer x is 5 over 2.